Billionaire investor Sam Zell is known for his sharp insight into the economy and markets, and his latest comments are making waves. Zell recently declared that the U.S. economy is collapsing before our very eyes, surrounding the alarm for investors and businesses alike. With his vast experience in investing in leadership positions in major companies, Zell's words carry weight and will surely be taken seriously by those who heed his advice. In this article, we'll explore Zell's perspective on the current state of the U.S. economy and what it means for investors and the country as a whole. Sam Zell recently made some thought-provoking comments about the state of the U.S. economy and the role of the Federal Reserve. He questioned the Fed's direction, pointing out that they may need to keep rates higher for longer. Zell also criticized the Fed for not doing their job over the last three years, leading to a whopping $7 trillion added to the U.S. debt. He compared the current situation to the Weimar Republic and warned that the U.S. could be in a similar crisis if things don't change. Zell also spoke about the recent budget proposed by the Biden administration, which would add $17 trillion to the U.S. debt over time. He questioned at what point this would become a crisis for the U.S. and when people would stop buying their debt. He warned that if the U.S. were to lose the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency, there could be a 20-25% to reduction in the standard of living. Zell believes that the Fed and the Biden administration have not done enough to address these issues and that they have only continued to inflate the bubble. The current economic situation in the United States has caught the attention of billionaire investor Sam Zell. He compares the U.S. to the Weimar Republic 100 years ago, which suffered from extreme hyperinflation. Back then, Germany's government printed massive amounts of money to support striking workers, causing the value of their currency to plummet. This led to devastating consequences for its citizens and businesses. Zell believes the U.S. is on a similar path due to the government's massive money printing in response to the economic fallout from the pandemic. More money has been printed in the last three years than in the first 230 years of the country's existence. This should warn the U.S. to be careful, or it may find itself in dire situation like Germany did a century ago. This excessive money printing has caught Sam Zell's attention and worried him. He's warning that if the United States doesn't change course soon, we could face a crisis like the one in the Weimar Republic. That could result in the loss of the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency, which could have catastrophic consequences for our standard of living. It's not just Sam Zell who is concerned, either. Many economists and financial experts have been warning about the potential dangers of excessive money printing for years. The question is whether the government will address the issue before it's too late. Sam Zell is not alone in his concerns about the state of the economy. Even investing heavyweights like Ken Griffin and Ray Dalio express their worries about what's coming. With so much uncertainty, there is no surprise that financial advisors are looking for ways to reduce volatility in their clients' portfolios. One popular alternative investing gaining traction is fine art, and that's where today's sponsors, Masterworks, comes in. They specialize in offering investment opportunities in art by legendary artists like Picasso and the return have been impressive, with an average 29% increase in art prices last year and Masterworks returning over $25 million to their investors. With each of their 13 sales to date delivering profits, it's no wonder their paintings can sell out in a matter of hours. The U.S. government and Federal Reserve took drastic actions to prevent a full economic collapse, including unprecedented money printing, which had the side effect of causing inflation. While the current inflation is not as severe as that experienced by the Weimar Republic, it's still painful for lower-income and middle-class Americans. Inflation occurs when there are too many dollars chasing too few goods, which creates a mismatch between supply and demand. When the government prints large amounts of money, it increases the dollars circulating through the economy, which increases the demand for goods and leads to inflation. This is referred to as free money and has been a big driver of elevated demand. Sam Sell notes that the end of free money is approaching which will have significant implications for investors. For example, in the real estate arena, municipalities have been deferring foreclosures, but this strategy can't go on forever, and the end of free money will force tough decisions. It's essential to understand how the supply and demand relationship work to comprehend the economy and stock market, and it's vital to stay up to date on what's happening in the economy and stock market. It's important to consider the leadership in place when managing the economy, some may question whether Powell or Biden have the necessary skills to handle economic challenges. When Samsung mentioned free money, they weren't necessarily referring to the government printing money and giving it to citizens. Instead, the term free money is more closely associated with the prolonged era of zero interest rates that we've experienced for the past 15 years. The chart shows that the federal fund rate has been hovering around 0% since 2008, making borrowing money incredibly cheap. 
In some cases, the cost of borrowing has been virtually free. For instance, the interest rate on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage can be as low as 2.5%. After factoring in inflation, the real cost of borrowing is essentially 0% or even negative. To estimate the real cost of borrowing, subtract the inflation rate from the interest rate. The era of free money where borrowing has been incredibly cheap has pushed stock prices and asset values to record highs. However, this trend may be coming to an end. As interest rate rises, it's causing housing payments to double nearly within just a few months. For example, a $400,000 loan for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage with a 2.5% interest rate results in a monthly payment of $1,580. But if the interest rate jumps to 8%, that monthly payment skyrockets to almost $3,000. This drastic increase in monthly payments results from the higher interest rate. The real cost of borrowing calculated using a formula is now around 5% with a normalized inflation rate of 3%. Although borrowing is still relatively cheap compared to historical standards, it's much more expensive than it was before. This rise in interest rates may have implications for the economy. Higher interest rates means that borrowing is more expensive which can slow down economic growth. Additionally, rising interest rates can cause inflation to increase as the cost of borrowing increases. This can lead to a decrease in purchasing power as prices for goods and services go up. As a result, it's important to closely monitor interest rates and inflation to ensure a stable economy. While the era of free money may end, borrowing at relatively low rates is still possible. However, borrowers should be prepared for potential increases in interest rates and factor in the real cost of borrowing when making financial decisions. Sam Sell, a prominent billionaire investor, has made a bold statement, claiming that the U.S. economy is collapsing before our eyes. While this may be a strong statement, it's clear that there are challenges facing the economy. One major issue is the end of the era of free money, which has led to rising interest rates and more expensive borrowing. This can potentially slow down economic growth and cause inflation to rise. However, it's important to note that while the economy may face challenges, it's not necessarily collapsing. The U.S. has a strong economy with robust institutions and a history of resilience. As always, monitoring the economy closely and making informed financial decisions based on the current economic climate is important. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for even more interesting content. Stay tuned for our next video, and thanks for watching. Check it out.